brought to you by DorsetAutomotive.com, where new and used vehicles arrive daily. Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Welcome back. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you right now, here's what it looks like. Not great for Halloween. I've got the times up there in Eastern, 5, 6, and 7. The next number would be the temperature, then the wind chill, and the wind. And there'll be some light rain showers around. I think a lot of the rain should be tapering off during that time. But as you can see, the temperatures will be dropping from 5 to 7, and the wind chills going down as well. And there's going to be a breeze out there. So, again, we've talked about how it's not looking all that great for Halloween. And I think that, again, the rain showers, the bulk of that's going to be tapering off, but not going to be a great evening for trick or treating. But still, you know, could be worse. We've had years when it's been worse than that. It's been colder than that, that's for sure. 55 was our high today. 42 has been our low for the day. 85, your record high, 24 is the record low on this day. No rain, really. There's been some drizzle, some mist out there, but that's really it. Not really anything measurable as far as rainfall. Sunrise, sunset tomorrow, 10 hours, 38 minutes of daylight. River Stage in Terre Haute holding stationary at five and a half feet. Right now at the airport in Terre Haute, we're down to 55 degrees. Winter southwest at about six. Pressure holding at 30. Point zero five. Temperatures all across the area cooler than yesterday, several degrees cooler. We're in the mid 50s all across the valley right now. The big storm is winding up out here in Colorado. This is going to dive down to the south and then move off to the northeast up into this area as we head for Wednesday and Thursday. It's already producing some snow out here across portions of the Plain States, including Iowa. Here at home, we have cloudy skies. And again, not really anything showing up. If we have any rain, it would be very, very minor tonight. Dorset Automotive Doppler radar doesn't show anything. It looks like it's going to stay kind of that way overnight, maybe a brief light shower. The rain chances will increase, though, as we get into the day on Wednesday, by tomorrow night into Wednesday. And look at the northwest of this area. There's going to be snow, and this will be wind-driven snow from northwestern Illinois to Iowa down to around Kansas City. By the way, the temperature in Kansas City right now is in the mid-30s. So there's a big difference out there. And for us, see this? We show some thunderstorm possibilities in here by Wednesday evening. Actually, some of those areas, the shaded in green, as you can see, that's the low end or what we call marginal risk of severe weather. So can't rule out maybe a stronger thunderstorm with that system as it comes into the area. The wind tonight will be changing over to the north, and it will stay northerly as we get into the day tomorrow and into the day on Wednesday. So that's going to allow the colder air to start to move in behind that storm system. So there it is Wednesday evening. The good news is it should be out of here by Thursday night. So here's Friday at 3 a.m. So it's over. The rain is gone. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday all look to be dry, but that storm will also usher in the coldest air of the season and an end to the growing season is coming to the end of this week as well. Here's the colder air pouring down to the south and moving into this area late into the weekend of the weekend. And it stays around. It looks like it will modify a little bit by early next week. But here's longer term now. This is November 3 through 7, right over this area. This is the highest probability of below normal temperatures in the entire country. So we continue with the idea of colder than normal as we start the month of November. Tonight, cloudy, maybe a light shower here or there. 49 for the overnight low. Temperatures will not be as cool tonight. Tomorrow will stay mostly cloudy, cool, a high of 54. And then after that, rain will be likely on Wednesday into Thursday, tapering off Thursday evening. But look at the temperature, 45. That's the high on Thanksgiving or on Halloween. 46 on Friday. And the weekend itself looking chilly. Overnight lows you'll notice in the 20s, so an end of the growing season later this week. That's your forecast. Now we'll head over to Green. Hey, thanks, Jesse.